Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Lee Free Free Studio. Welcome back for the next week of the uh, Nothing But Neutrals Challenge. And we're on week eight, I believe. And uh, just a reminder that if you're participating in the challenge, and you post to social media, if you will use this hashtag, nothing but neutrals, when you post to social media, it will allow everyone who's participating to see your makes. And um, I also have a playlist on my channel that um, I'm putting all of my videos in so that you can see all the previous um, prompts if you have not started yet um, and would like to start participating or you missed a week or, you know, whatever. Um, there is a playlist on my channel that has all the videos in it. So today, the base that we're going to use um, is a ticket. And it can be any kind of ticket. It can be a ticket you make, a ticket you have, a new ticket, an old ticket. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just so you use some kind of ticket. And I am going to do some clusters, some different kind of clusters that you can use in your journals. Just to give you some ideas. And... Um, just remember that the only uh, specifications for this challenge is one, you ha uh, need to use the base or something similar to the base that we're working with that week. And you must use neutral colors, which are black, white, gray, and brown, and any shade or variation thereof. So, let's get started. The first one I want to do is this one. And this is a Tim Holtz stamp from the Ticket Booth stamp set. And I just cut it out in a rectangle. And then I used a die to cut this little window so that I can put this guy back here behind. Um, you know, kind of like a frame. And I'm just going to... Um, put him on and first thing I want to do though is I want to take a piece of this tape I think and put it on there just because I think that will look kind of cool I don't know if I want to do like a side by side piece and cover the whole thing or if I just want to put the strip but we're going to try it and see I can get it off the paper. All right, so just gonna put that on there. Don't stick to my card stock so that I can't get you off. See how that looks with just a single. Yeah, I like that. So we're just going to leave the single piece on there. And then I'm going to glue um, the picture to the back. that over so I can see what I'm doing and then I'm just going to glue it back on and clean it up in the back just like that 
this. Hope everybody's having a good start to their week. I'm sure some of you had a long holiday weekend since the 4th was on a Thursday. Hope you got to take Friday as well. And we're just gonna cut here. And then that gives us a nice sturdy little piece and that would make a really cute paper clip as well. And then I have a couple of little tickets and these are by 49 and Market. And I'm gonna ink those up and just kind of put them on as kind of an embellishment. And create a little bit of layering here. Just kind of down in the corner like that. And I think I'm just going to put those on with a stapler. Just to give another. Or do I want to do... You know what I might do is I might glue them and then put a paper clip. One of the mini paper clips on there just to kind of give it a another element. Get a little mini clip here. And grab one. And I also think that I am going to take my little bitty hole punch and punch a couple of these months out in the bottom to make it look like it's been used a little bit. If I can reach it. Okay. Someday I'm gonna do that and reach back in my chair like that and I'm just gonna tumble right over and you'll hear a big crash and you'll know that's what happened. There we go. Just to make it look like it's been used a little bit. All right, so that's one version. I think that's pretty cute. All right, for the other two, I got the little small Tim Holtz paper dolls. And again, this is 49 and market ticket. The gray one is. The other one is a stamp from the Tim Holtz stamp set. And then this little guy looks like a train conductor. So we're going to put him on here. And then I'm wondering, do I want to put something behind there? If I had a little vellum sticker. Let me grab my stickers. I think most of the ones I have I don't like.
I don't know if I can find something, but we're going to look. Um, and, and I need to find something neutral, so that's another issue as well. quickly flipping through here. That could look like a pocket watch. That one. Seize that one. So I'm going to cut some of this white off. Get it a little closer. To the edge. It won't be round because I'm trying to hurry. But I think it'll be okay since it's a washi sticker that maybe it, my bad cutting won't show too bad. See if I can get the back off. So if we put that that's not where I want to put it. I was totally had it totally upside down there. There we go. Now my numbers and stuff still show through. And now we'll put the ticket in the little guy on here. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Alright, so we'll glue that down. So there's version two. Then the last one, I have this little guy. And he looks like he's ready for some travel. And again, I have some 49 in the market. Tickets. Ink around him to get rid, just to get rid of the white on the edges. And can I find another sticker? I could use that other. Other watch, but. 
see if I have something else. A little different variety. Hmm. Hmm. some mushrooms. I don't know where that fits in the travel. But we're going to use that anyway. Just to have something in the background. Could probably also use like a bigger number on there, like a die cut number. Art doesn't always have to make sense, does it? Okay, so there is that version. Now for the other two, I'm going to make just like little clusters that can go on a page as a cluster, or you can make a paper clip out of, or, um, you know, they could be used in several different ways. And I just have a ton of different kinds of tickets, both stamped and 49 in market. In neutral colors, and I have inked them and grunged them up, but somehow I missed these. And I'm just going to kind of stack them on top of each other and fan them out and make like a base. And then I'm going to put those little Tim Holtz ladies kind of on top because they look like they're ready to do some traveling so let's see I think I'm gonna use a glue stick do I want to make me I think I'm gonna cut a little piece of cardstock just to kind of make me a, a starting off point. So that I have something to kind of build my 
stack off of. So it's nothing but just the base for me to kind of start laying these out. A couple of the bigger ones in the back. And then I'm just going to layer them up. Nothing too fancy smancy. this one here. And then this one I'm going to turn kind of sideways down here at the bottom so it makes it look like that they're having a seat kind of on those. And I might even put another one I have a little bitty one over there under her arm. And I think I'll put this one here. Just to kind of fan out that side a little more. See if I have a little bitty something. Maybe some of the lighter colors here. Let's see. Let's do that one. Ink that one up. Okay, so that's just a little, like I said, just a little cluster that you can use. And I've got one more. It's kind of the same deal. And this one I already have a bigger piece for the back. So we'll just ink it up and use it as our little anchor piece. And then we'll start stacking some of these others on top of it.
Now, if you don't have tickets and you don't have the stamps, um, you can make your own out of, um, you know, just take some cardstock and uh, cut you a rectangle out of it. And you can use your hole punch and create these little things. And then take, you know, whatever kind of stamps you may have. You might have some um, numbers or letters or even pictures. It doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, you could use some scrapbook paper for that matter and make just the shapes of tickets and come up with your own versions. You know, don't ever feel like you have to go out and get whatever we're using in the channel. There's always, or, or as the challenge, you, there's always an option that you can use without having to go out and buy anything. Part of the purpose of doing this is to get rid of stash that you've had sitting around. Um, so, yeah. Make do. Make do with what you have. Stick on there. And we have our little lady. She looks like she's ready. She's got her coat on. Don't need that around here right now. Okay, so there's that one. Does that one need anything else? Hmm. Now you could add a little bit of lace or something down there if you wanted. Um, you could add... do I have that I could add? You could stamp on that. Um, I was trying to think of something that we could do to this one to make it a little bit different than this one. Let's see. I have a wax seal, but it's not neutral. But that would be another option that would be really cute, would be to put a wax seal on there. You could put postage stamps. Um, you could do a button. Let's see what a button would look like. That's actually kind of cute, isn't it? Let's see, I've got a black one. That looks more like a coat button, doesn't it? So you can do something like that. Maybe with some thread or something underneath it, which I don't believe I have 
So you can always tell when I'm doing my first video of the day because everything has been put up from the night before. And so I don't have a bunch of stuff laying out. Where when I'm on my, you know, maybe second video of the day or whatever, I've got stuff laying everywhere. And so I can reach over and grab something <laughs> really quickly and... Um, usually you have something that'll work, but I don't have anything. Maybe we'll take, I don't like to use this thread because it's thicker and it doesn't bundle up good. We're going to see if we can get it to, it doesn't make a lot, a nice little nest. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like the lighter thread does. It just won't knot up very well. Yeah, that'll work. Let's put some thread in the in the button. Just so it doesn't look naked. Oh, that one's been glued down on something already and I changed my mind. Do you guys do that? Put something on there and then decide you don't like it. Get the thread through there without a needle. It's got pretty big holes. It would have been a lot easier had it not already been glued down on something. But I think we can do it. I was just telling the hubby, I was out sitting on the screening porch this morning and it's time for the beetles, you know, are starting to fly around real bad. June bugs, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, they were out flying around this morning and they just fly right into the siding, you know, and bounce off the walls and bounce off the gutters and then they just keep on flying. <laughs> and I was like, it's a good thing they have hard shells because they're not the brightest. And you hear them out there and then you hear clunk where they've flown into something. But I guess that's why they have hard shells. We got some good rain yesterday, which we needed desperately. Our yard was looking so brown. And uh, as a matter of fact, we had several, I mean, we didn't. The area had several fires that were started by people shooting fireworks on the 4th because it was so dry. Even though they said, please don't shoot fireworks, you're going to cause fires. You know, and that's for some people licensed to do that. 
do exactly the opposite of what you tell them. <sighs> but that's a whole different story. Alright, so there's a little bit different version. Alright, so now we have the option when we go to use these in our journals that um, this is my nothing but neutrals journal. They could be, let's see, let's find a spot here. You could make them little clusters that could go down in the corner of journal pages like that. That's really cute. Or, if you took the longer ones, you could make little side tabs. Also would be cute. You could paper clip them on the page. Or you could make paper clips out of them by mounting a paper clip on the back and then it would slide on the page. So yeah. Several uses for them and they'd be really cute. I think the clusters would be really cute down in the corner of like a plain page like this one that you probably wouldn't decorate the whole page because you'd want a writing spot. Then you could put one of these down on the bottom and it would um, give you a nice little embellishment to the page without taking up too much of your writing space. So there you go. There's our make for this week tickets. Remember, you can use, you know, whatever facsimile of a ticket that you have. It'll be just fine. Another idea for these would be to make several and make like a little booklet. That maybe put an eyelet in the corner so that it could fan out. That would be really cute as well. So I hope that gives you some ideas and don't forget to share your, um, on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or however you use social media using the hashtag nothing but neutrals. And I'll give you next week's prompt, um, which is a flashcard any kind. It can be mathematical, it can be vocabulary, it can be, um, you know, whatever kind. I know there are free digitals for flashcards on the internet. If you'll put in the Google search for free flashcards, um, I know teacher, I think it's teachers.com has several that you can print out for free. Um, if you don't have any of your own. So, um, I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys for today. Again, thanks for joining me. And I will see you back tomorrow for uh, No Digitals Allowed. And we will um, hopefully make some more fun ephemera. So, until then, I hope everybody has a good evening. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.